In this video, we're going to do two things. We're going to talk about how you can actually get over your fear of mathematics. Some people have a fear of math. They're afraid that if they try to do a problem, they won't be able to solve it, and so they just don't do it. So I'm gonna give you one powerful strategy that you can use to just squash that completely. We're also going to discuss a situation where if you're in a classroom setting and you're lost and your teacher is just going too fast, how can you catch up in that classroom and solve that problem? This video is 100% inspired by an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. So I'm going to start this video by carefully reading this email. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, I will leave her name out of it. The subject is, what should I do? Dear Math Sorcerer, I'm unsure if you are familiar with this, but I'm a student currently studying for the IGCSE exams. I take both math subjects, which are additional mathematics and extended maths. At the start of the school, I didn't pay much attention to the subjects, always making up excuses to learn. Although, I did keep on forgetting after we moved on to the next chapter. I think one reason I refrain from practicing maths is that I am scared of it, the fear of not getting it right. How do I overcome that and gain the motivation to practice at home by myself? Now my class is almost halfway through. It's coursework and I still have missing lessons I need to do. One more thing is that I'm finding it hard to grasp the context of a topic immediately and my teacher is fast at teaching and explaining it to us. She doesn't wait for any of us. Please give me some advice on how to catch up with this course as I feel I am so behind in maths and my official exam is in nine months. I hope that you see this message. Best regards. So first let me say thank you for your email. And it's really good that you have nine months. <laughs> you got this. You're going to be fine, right? You've got, you've got plenty of time. Okay, so it's not... Uh, I hadn't read the email, by the way, before, before making this video. I had I'd kind of glanced at the beginning. So the nine months part uh, is, is a surprise. So that is very, very good that you have that much time. Uh, it, it just, I just feel like you have time now and there's more hope. So first of all, with, with overcoming your fear of math, so there's one thing you need to realize, and this is... Uh, a very real thing. If you want to do better in your math class, right, you have to do math. Right, that, that's, that's it. You, you can't, the only thing that is going to change your performance in that class is doing math. And when you realize that, you can sit there and think about the fact that you're afraid of math and the fact that you've already failed your test, and the fact that you have all this homework you haven't done. But when you're sitting there and you're having those thoughts, I want you to tell yourself, hey, I'm having these thoughts. The only way I'm going to get better at math is to do math. I need to go do math right now, like right now. Right? And you need that sense of urgency that is created from the realization that the only way you're going to succeed is if you do math. Once you have that realization, once you have that realization that action is the only thing that is going to move you forward, then you will do math. But you need to sit there and think about it, or you need to be self-aware, right? It's very easy to procrastinate. It's very easy to plan. It's very easy to think about the past and the future, because all of those things, I mean, they require thought and energy and mental power, and they're draining, but action is what you need, right? Action is a little bit harder to act. Action is more important than anything, right? So take action. That's how you get yourself to do it, by realizing that the only way, the only way you're going to get better is to actually do mathematics, right? That's the only way. It's the only way you'll get better at math, is to do math. And that's what gets you to take action. I think this will work for you. It, it works for most people, but you have to realize that that's the only way, right? No amount of wishing or wanting is going to get you where you want. 
And I think you have the ability. I, I just, I get something from your email. You, you, you got this. You got this. I don't know, I got a good vibe. The second thing I have for you is a comment on uh, your teacher going very fast. Been there. I think most of us have. My advice is this. Immediately after class, if you can, or as soon as possible, definitely the same day. And if you can't do it the same day, do it the same day anyways. Make it work. Stay up a little bit later. Or whatever it is, get it to work to where you can look at your notes after class. That is super, super key, okay? Because the sooner you look at your notes, the less information you forget. Even though you probably didn't understand most of the stuff in class anyways, at least you heard her say some stuff in class, so those words are in your mind, so it's going to make it easier. I highly recommend this strategy. I have used this strategy before in very difficult classes. I've done this in physics, physics one and two. I also did this in graduate school, uh, especially in abstract algebra, uh, because I really love the subject, and I would just, I would spend three hours, two to three hours every day after class dissecting the notes. These were very heavy notes, by the way. I mean. I'm not saying what you're doing is easy, but uh, this was graduate school, so it took a considerable amount of time and effort to, to go through those notes. <laughs> if you're in graduate school, you've been there. Uh, you know what I mean. You understand the struggle. So, yeah, that's my advice. So, take action. Realize that no one is going to make you better at math other than you, and the only way it's going to happen, the only way is if you take action, right? That's the only way. And as far as your, your class, go over your notes after class immediately. Also, go see your teacher. Don't be afraid to see your teacher. Don't be afraid to go see them all the time. Ask questions about the notes. You know, go over your notes. Any confusion, go see the teacher. Always, always, always. This can help you, and I think it will help a lot of people watching this video if you're in a similar situation. Because a lot of people are in classes where they're lost and they don't understand and the teacher's going way too fast. So what do you do? You go to class and it doesn't help. You, you leave more confused than when you go and you're behind. And so go over your notes immediately, go see the teacher. That's, that's gonna make a huge difference. It, it'll bump up your grade at least one or two letter grades. I mean, because even just by seeing the teacher, just that interaction, that's just going to motivate you. I mean, even if it's a negative interaction, the fact you went there, the fact you're trying, it'll make a difference. Does anyone else have advice for this person? She is struggling. The good news is she has some time, you know, nine months. That's, that's really good. I don't know what um, IGCSE is, so if someone knows, leave a comment so others know and I know. Uh, I, could, I could look it up, but uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any advice, leave a comment. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. When you use my links, it helps me greatly, and I've lowered the prices, so you get a good price. So yeah, check out my courses. As always, keep doing mathematics.